uh, this is a redo of one that I really wanted to do. I really wanted to make this video in 2015, and I did not want to do that because my voice sounds did annoying back then. Seriously, I'm, I'm serious here. Um, anyways, SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Um, it's a really good movie. One of the first movies I've ever seen. No, really, it was. So, here's the whole plot. Uh, everyone probably knows this because it's been 13 years of its release. Uh, basically, SpongeBob and Patrick embark on a quest to find Neptune, King Neptune's crown, which has been stolen by Plankton and Plankton put it in Shell City. This movie is really good. It started off really good, though there is a bit, there is a flaw that I, there's a thing that I really didn't like. Like seriously, the pirate scene was good, but where was Patchy? I mean, seriously, in a movie about SpongeBob, you expect Patchy to be having a seizure right now since his favorite Sponge is getting a movie, but it was nowhere in the film. Not even a reference to him. It's not. Like, where'd he go? Like, that has been removed from SpongeBob. Well, SpongeBob series? I, I don't know. But seriously, this is a good movie. It's. Plankton. Yeah, there's a flaw about Plankton. He wants to rule the world and all that cliche villain crap. I don't remember Plankton wanting to, you know, rule the world. I remember him just wanted to take the Krabby Patty formula. That's all he wanted. And plus, I don't see how taking the crown will help any of that. I mean, there are four supporting characters, which is Budbob, Patrick, Plankton, and Miss Krabs, which Miss Krabs is frozen for, the, for almost the whole movie. Plankton's not even show that much. And plus, over to Patrick, yeah. The whole I'm not a kid thing is a really good way to, you know, make your movie. And I teared up at that scene. Yes, you know that scene that I'm talking about. That scene where SpongeBob and Patrick dry up. It was a, an emotional scene. I, to the point where I literally almost started crying. It, you know, I actually did start crying when I saw that scene. Like, seriously, these guys, these kid, these guys, at the time that this movie was made, were were around for five years straight, and they were lovable. They were lovable. And to see them dry up, in such an emotional way. And here's the thing: they're actually, you know. They're aware that they're gonna die, but they're actually happy about it because they made it so far as kids, just kids. Well, they're not kids; they're just adults. Judging by this movie, just you know, the movie came out in two thousand four, for two thousand four, but rumors say that. This movie takes place around 2033, which is crazy. But the one thing that ruined that was the biggest flaw about the team was the pirates. It was trying to make something emotional to something hilarious. And it really didn't do that good. But still, that was a pretty emotional scene. It made me kind of tear up. Or, you know, based on seeing the movie for the first time, ball my eyes out. Um, at, and what made it worse is that everyone really, a lot of people really like these guys. To see them dry up like that is sad. So overall, I give this movie, you know, an 8 out of 10. Um, pretty good. And the dark green color rating. And the light, dark, light, light, uh, uh, whatever. It's a good movie. I recommend you watch it. And if you see it the first time, then maybe you'll make a review of it. 
I'm not sure. Um, so that's all for three reviews. See you guys next time, and goodbye. Uh, this show is just a disaster.